What's up, motherfuckers? This is Eric Johnson alongside Kevin Raymond. And um, we're going to go back to the old school format because, you know, we just like to go off topic quite a lot. So, um, yes, we are back to the TNA 2002. Not a live stream for one of us. I know. We decided that that's also a problem. Live streams should probably be for major events. And it is fun to do your episodes via live stream. But it's a lot easier for on uh, us Absolutely. if we don't have to talk like a bunch of morons for about two to three hours. Because then you lose things to talk about. Then you kind of go with those long, uh, what the yeah, fuck is happening? Plus, uh, for the brand, um, yeah, we're probably just going to do um, just the um, after. So as you see, I know you see already see um, all the segments, but. And we might switch it up again. Who knows? But this is what we feel more comfortable with right now. Do you like? Do you like hearing us talk a lot and talk about random shit? Okay, or do you so like this? Let us know in the comments. But All right. We've got a nice sixty-seven to start off well, the show. Let's 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 specify what's going on. Um, Jeff Jarrett comes down to gloat about his title victory, but it's not good enough for him because he did not close the show. Uh, Genesis, I think it was. No, Lethal Lockdown. Lethal Lockdown. Wow, well. he's he's still a month behind. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's been a minute since we booked this, so I'm trying to catch myself up too. But, um, how many people did this attract? Okay, this only attracted maybe four, almost 400 people over 2,000. So, mm, so we're going back down to the 2,000 arena. We yeah. made a deal of 28, and it didn't hit 28. So we'll just go, we'll just stay at that uh, arena for... Another maybe a couple of months, then we'll try it again to see if popularity got better or worse. Yeah, or, I mean, it uh, for depends. a month straight, and then we'll do it again. We'll just go, we just got to keep trying it until we see a uh, different. Well, see, you got to keep in mind, though, the wrestling industry and the economy are really going to affect that. So we need to pay attention to that again. All right. We tend to forget. So we really need to keep our eye on that. God damn fucking Shane Douglas. But anyway, it's got a 67. You know, AJ's like. I tear the roof off this place every night on Monday night. We don't come. <laughs> well, no, it's shown on Thursdays, but it is filmed. So he said Thursday. He'll say Thursdays. You know, that's Monday. Every Thursday night or every Thursday in the middle of the night, like when we're recording this goddamn episode. That's not a Thursday. Well, you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. In the more, like, basically very know, I'm just night. fucking with you. I know. Wait, hey, 67, I guess it can't get any better than so that. what were the negatives here? Something I'm curious about. Announcing quality was penalized. Poor momentum for Shane Douglas, even though... Home around, poor momentum, man. I mean, come on, Shane. Your team just won the lethal lockdown. Dude, more instead of... Well, that wasn't Team Douglas. That was Team fucking Joe. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in reality, <laughs> but it's Team 1. <laughs> All right, 67, not bad. 45 for this match. Punk's getting better and better to me. I think As Hero he's... did too. What? I think Hero did too. I don't know how I got a 45. Booking decision. Inconsistency. He inconsistent bastard. Content risk being low. We keep forgetting about that. Something on our thing makes our content risk have to be high. I know. So you will get penalties for that every single time if it's not a gimmicky match. Uh, not a gimmicky match, but has to be like high adrenaline. Yeah, so like weapons. That was going like you know, we need stuff like that, which isn't really the product we're going for. But Basically, we need a lot of guys doing flippy shit. That's yeah. all I'm getting at. So nice fifty-seven promo. He's getting way better at talking. Good talker, and a good performer. So we'll keep him on the screen. Oh man, Ariel. They, they can't talk right away, so they gotta work on this. Humble beginnings right now. I can see these guys being groomed to be the best. So. The morale and poor gimmick. The morale will change, give it time. He'll get better in this 52. Game. Brian Kendrick and Paul London actually being better than these two. Claudio to 45, Simon Dimo to 39. Um, so the hooligans are actually one of the best tag teams right now. After pinfall with a foreign object. So they did cheat to win. So obviously that'll come to fruition later. I wonder later. what they used. They picked up a foreigner out of the crowd and hit them with them. Yeah, the damn foreign was an object. No. <laughs> so 
So you got AJ Styles and Eric Paris looking for LAX, but they can't find them in this couple of minutes. I think I made it. Um, three minutes of them trying to find them in that, in that three like minutes. Just kicking in room doors. Like, Basically kicking locker room doors in. First room they check is LA, the LAX locker room. They're not in there. Um, so they just go around the whole building. But you only see three minutes of it, so it just basically cuts out and I'm still trying to find them. 58. And another 58 right after that's from Ojo. Now is a 65 in ring for he is, Dude, he's, he's almost ready. Mm-hmm. He, uh, I think we should get him over uh, with a main eventer. I think I know him. Uh, he, he is ready, dude. I mean, damn. Maybe that's who Sabu should face next. Okay. It's a main eventer that we really don't have any other plans after. Smojo defeated Mark Strong in 524 by pinfall with a muscle buster. Not bad. He just saw that neck and said, oh yeah, you're next. Yeah. And he's just waiting for fucking that one guy from New Japan, the Stampede Kid. He should, he just, he just, one of, like, one of these days where we are going to book that angle. You just see, you see his hand in his pants. So I wish you could see it. All, all you see is just the hand motions coming out of the pants. <laughs> Look at that DJ. That neck. What that neck do. Dr. Stryker during this segment. Every he's professor. He's also a doctor. Yokim helped Dr. Stryker. He's getting better at his gimmick. Oh, yeah, he's be- Dr. Stryker. He helped out. He, he has a doctorate in teaching. <laughs> he has a doctorate. Uh, Aaron Stevens is getting better at his gimmick. Nice. Yeah, obviously he's going to be a breakout of this. Nice. You would hope, but, you know. Not a bad match. 55. Got the crowd buzzing. There you go. Wow. Um, Ron Killings with a 59. That is worth noting right there. Um, I believe Aaron Stevens and Dr. Stryker are getting a lot better. But these two perform better than these two. But we're just going to act like that didn't happen. And um, America's Most Wanted come out to congratulate them. And, of course, what do, what do you do as a heel but call them fucking... I have a phone call, but I'm just going to act like it's not happening right now. <laughs> All right. So, Stryker, you calls them stupid hex, calls the fans stupid hex. Because, you know, when you're a heel in TNA right now, in our TNA... You, That's just the go-to line. You're going to get heat. You're guaranteed to get heat with that line, obviously. And if you're seeing Punk, you call them meth heads. Yeah. All right. Um, But, you know. Shut up! Um, AJ Styles and Eric Parrish find Shelly Martinez, but not the rest of LAX, right? So they're like, where the hell are they? I'm going to find them, and I'm going to beat their ass. AJ Styles. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) man. I don't even know if Eric Paris is fucking uh, heck or not. I can't. I don't know his voice. Shut up! She's very underwhelming, pretending not to know where they are. Why do you fucking do that shit? No improvements. Segment number eleven. Uh, bonus for high morale. High morale. Good announcing. Good color. Very hot crowd. Bonus for good momentum. Oh yeah, the crowd's hot. Unless for chemistry motivation. So the crowd's very hot after the tag team match. That actually helped. Nice. And then here we go. Gene Oakum was very poor and tried to improvise. Uh, Come on. This was a very good shoot interview. Yeah. Um, for the quality of product that we need. So here's what I'm looking at, right? We only drew like a we're just going to round up 2,400 people. If we make a profit off this show, I say we try again. If if the profit's there. But it's, and I'll tell you why it's not. You're spending 15 grand on right. a location that we're not selling out. It's not worth it. There's yeah, no, we probably didn't make a profit. But. When only half your building's full, it was not worth the investment. Right. Yeah, I got a 65. So, 
Let's see that it got. Um, that was that was expected. Yeah. AJ Styles AJ's got to get to that title. Usual. He's got to get to that title soon. I know. Yep, 65C. And we got the um, 56C minus to close the show. I rated both of these guys on selling, so they should be good at that. And yeah, it's got a 60. Weren't enough attractive women. Shelly Martinez isn't attractive enough for you. Gail Kim's not attractive enough for you. I, 1 to 28. That's not the correct ratio. I think Gail Kim's sex appeal is under 70. Okay, that's stupid. It still has to be over 70 to fit that sexy female ratio. It's things full of shit, but okay, let's continue. I say Gail Kim is about a 70. Yeah, but of course, the mod maker. No. She's not hot to me. Shelly Martinez might have a big chest, but she's not good looking. Or something like that. No, I think it's Gail Kim. Bookie's been poor. Your team won, you jackass. He needs to be given wins. All right, we'll give you some fucking wins. On like a pre-show. Yeah, we probably lost it. Yeah, we're losing big time. Oh, okay. Our ticket sales went up, though. We're getting more in ticket sales. TV revenue is probably going to stay the same. Yeah, look, it made the same as it did last month. Can we get another TV deal? Or are we still too far uh, in the toilet? The sponsorship went down. Well, yeah, it was probably that stupid attack on WWF that we tried to do that failed. To the, where the point where the crowd wanted to bring pro WWF signs. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Just to piss us off. To be like, oh, you guys think you're cool? Yeah, yeah, fuck you. We love the WWF. God, why would you love fucking McMahon land, you cunts? Come on, we're the wrestling for the fan, okay? Not for some. All right, so we got some new signings shit. here. Oh, we do? Yeah, Carly Cologne decided to sign. We're just going to spend a lot more on workers now. Oh my God, He's a heel, up. complete contract. Monty Brown. Holy fuck. Face. Shut up. Complete contract. Harry Smith, a young 16-year-old. He can be a face. Jeremy Borash, the second interviewer. Jimmy Jacobs, the heel. Can you ever stop saying the same thing over and 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 over Keen appeared to be the victim of some underhanded corporate tactics as it was revealed by several of their key sponsors and pulled out after being fed allegedly fake rumors by a rival, WWF. The loss in revenue was staying the company as the fact that, that the rival son of a bitch. had gotten over them. Oh, man. Oh, we got to get them back. We're not popular enough. They're not going to do it. popularity. We got to find something that'll work. These guys are fucking with our sponsors. We, dude, that hurts us in the pocket. We got to hurt them. I don't know how, but we have to do it. We have to. Yeah, we have to try and hurt. Dude, we have to do it, man. Yeah, I don't as know. As soon as they fuck with us in the pocket, this is a real war now. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Here, let me see this shit. First, I was, first I was looking at. I'll be in charge of this shit. I don't know. All right, we're do. getting these motherfuckers. They want to mess with us in the pocket. We'll see how it goes. Relationships. We'll see how it is. I'm sorry, I'm just so flustered. I can't believe that happened. All right, listen here, you little shits. Remember, we take a huge hit if we fail on one of these big mm. ones. It'll kill us. In the Sponsor water. snipe. That's exactly That's what they, they did. did. Uh-huh. So to do it back, they'd be like, oh, now you're just... You're Hire just... people to go to their shows and cause disruptions. <laughs> it won't work. Yeah! Watch it not work for us. Well, we'll I... try it. Watch All right, it well, we're work. doing it. Fuck you we guys. We have to dig ourselves out of a fucking hole. We are going to fuck you up, WWF. We, you want a war? You want a war? You got a war. All right. Even though we're a tiny Hold regional on. company. And you now, I know we did the show, but we're definitely advancing till we see what the fuck happens with this. All right, here we go. Right, Wrapping look. it. In con- nah, that's just their newest. Uh, and they re-signed Lita. I figured that would happen. I figured- we got some new faces coming in. A lot yeah, of right, new faces to try to save sorry. ourselves. Right Jimmy Sucker Jr., face or heel? We need faces. We need them. I want to give him a different name. Uh, I'm not sure what name to give him, but uh, we're not sure. But if you have any ideas, comment down below I on Sucker Jr. I, I said deuce, but you know. No, that, that, that's not happening. 
Heidenreich's got to be a face with um animal. The LRD 202. 2.0 or 2000, whatever you want to call it. 2002. Aaron Aguilera, he's a heel. He cannot be a face. I'm going to change his name, though. Kenny Omega. That's an, uh, sure, yeah, we need faces. That'll work for me. Mike Knox is a heel. Definitely heel because we got plans. We got plans with that one. Nick Gage, he can be a face. Okay, then I guess it works. Oh, At we didn't average. drug test Mike Knox to see if he used steroids or anything. Uh, Oops. P.D. Williams. Yeah, but see, that's not going to affect, like, oh, he was too drunk. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. If he wants to do steroids and beef up, I don't care. Okay. He just might accidentally kill himself or somebody. But, yeah. Uh, Trevor Murdoch is a heel. Then again, he should be a face because he's with the redneck crowd. Can he even play a face? Uh, that's a good question. Weak. No, he cannot. Only one way to learn is to give him experience, but whatever. And they re-signed Lita, so uh, the email's going to say, yeah, extends the deal. Fuck, we failed on another one because we cannot get up the cult. It sucks. Uh, this really, really sucks. That sponsor snipe, though. You're like, the sponsorship went down. Then I read that and I was like, fuck! That's why. <laughs> A lot of sponsors don't want to give us money after that. That's bullshit. Please to cause enough destruction to say the show is terrible. Yeah, please cause disruption. Like, boo, boo the faces, cheer the heels. Because, you know, back then it was kind of taboo. Oh, my God. Please work, please work. Hot property, Harry Smith. We already have him. A, two, a 0. 0.2 rating. An 02 rating, not even a 0. 0.2. It aired last night. It had been taped on Monday. Oh, he, he wants a better push. He has one match against Joe. I deserve to be pushed better. Okay. I don't know. What the hell was his rating in that match? I think it was pretty good, actually. So... Okay, whatever. Mid, you got it. Welcome. I shut the fuck up. Well, all these people need to be assigned positions on the fucking roster. We'll work on it. Like right now, mm-hmm. opener. Well, he's going to be Carlito. So, I know he is. I know. <laughs> it literally says um, I know. Really? I know. I know. See, even he knows. <laughs> okay. He just, you know, because he, he knows. You know? We got him loyal to TNA. He's probably giving him a contract. Yep. We, 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 he is loyal to TNA. Or headbutt me in the nose. Sorry. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> it might wonder, but you're still loyal. God damn, that's awesome. Any of our other signings loyal? That's fucking awesome. I did not expect that. Any of our other... Jimmy Snooker Jr. be loyal? I don't know. Definitely not, but hey. That's Jimmy... Lower well, that's Jimmy Jacobs, so that's not the person I'd like. I know, but I'm just saying. He's not loyal. Um. No. 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 Opener, too. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of those, but we needed the people. Should we book them based on Snooker Jr.? No. Uh, you know what? No. Uh, give us some names for Jimmy Snooker Jr. that would actually sound cool. That would be nice to hear from you guys on that. Get you involved. Laura Mid, well, well, he's teaming up with Animal, so. Is there a photo of him from the LOD? Probably not. Uh, it's Kenny Omega, loyal to TNA. Yay. Enhancement talent. Oh, well. Oh, good. Okay. He's 18. He can pay some dues. Yeah. Anyone else we need? Monty Brown. That'd be nice. Not loyal. That sucks. Upper, Upper mid. mid. Holy nice. Fuck. Look at that. We got ourselves a good talent right here. Fucking Monty Brown. What to do with him, though, is a good this is the question. Harry Smith's hot property, apparently. So he's going to pay his dues, but he could be something great. He's only 16. He's loyal. <laughs> we got so much loyalty to us right now. It's actually kind of insane. Jeremy Borash. Oh man, we couldn't we could not get the crazy interviewer guy. I call him crazy because just fucking look at him. It's an awesome. Upper picture. mid Carter. No. <laughs> Ken 
Magenta is a mid card. Nice. Got some good talent coming in. We still got fucking sponsors. Aaron, like this hey, shit. I know that was some fuck. Lower mid. They're, they're trying to hurt us in the pocket. I want to change Aaron Aguilera's name just so it's not double A as well. He's loyal. So what should we change the name to? I would keep the last name. I'm just trying to figure out a good first name. Dan Aguilar. We don't have a Dan. Um, what what is his? Wait, let's look at his uh, nationality. I mean, American white. Okay, so let's give him a Tyler basic Aguilar. Name. Hmm. What about Tyler or Ty? Ty Aguilera. Does that it sound is good on Ty him? Ty Aguilera. Well, he looks like a tough guy, so Ty, I don't know. Because he looks like a tough Tony. guy. Tony. Oh, how about Vinny? To- Instead of Tony, Tone. It's like a... An- Tone Aguilera. I mean, how about like that? Yeah. I'm bad at this. Um. Yes. Tone Aguilera. It sounds stupid, but it's his name is Tony, but he goes by Tone. The name's Tone. Or the way I spelt it, Tone. No, I'm just check. Enhancement talent. See, he's not going to start off as that, though. He's going to be a lower mid with CM Punk. So he's actually going to be higher than he should. And CM Punk will probably get him. Somewhat over just by standing there. What's his menace, I wonder? Nick Gage. It's going to be like an enhancement. Mid. mid. Holy fuck. He can fucking be a mid carter. Here. Nick fucking Gage is in TNA. What's in store? We'll find out. Petey Williams. Enhancement talent. Well, we need enhancements to make the other X Division guys look good so we can eventually probably have an ultimate X for the title. Oh, we need to get Don West so we can uh, have Team Canada constantly win matches for Petey Williams. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> He's freaking out. And then Coach Scott DeMore. <sighs> Eric, give me your pants! Team Canada pants! It's like, I understand this about embarrassment. Do we really want to see Eric Young in his boxing? Trevor Murdoch's loyal to TNA. <laughs> How much fucking loyalty do we have? I don't know. Let's go down the list. Well, let me just see this shit. Diary? No. Where's it? User. That's what it is. Where the fuck... Fear and Iron Fist apparently brings a lot of loyal guys. Even that loyalty <laughs> down here. I know, but apparently what we're doing is working. Has wait, has the magic has the magic touch with guys drunks being drunks and super loyal for some strange reason. I don't know why he said drugs, I said junks. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's got the... T- he's reading what you said, but put junks there. <laughs> junks? Yeah, right about... Right, right after guys. So read your first line again. Wait, wait. Has the magic touch with guys being drunks? Yeah, but instead of being drunks, change that to just being junks. Being junks? Why? No, no, no. Get rid of being, put junks there. Has the magic touch with guys' junks. Oh, okay. That's He's fine. playing with them. <laughs> so our momentum went down. That's nice. Oh, shit. And the prestige went down to 47. And it's like it's bullshit because you know you're bullshit. Here, fucking see. WWF don't like us for whatever Weird. goddamn reason. The fucking show well, them. The dirty cons. Here, I want to see something. What are we doing? We're just sending people there to act like assholes? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what that does. There you go. There yeah. you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. That works. There you go. So now he can actually be man beast. Can I give him power and paint? Probably could. Yeah, power and paint. A face painted, muscle bound character just go. smashes through opponents. Power and paint. Yeah. Oh, 
I don't know what his name was when he was in that. I mean, if you were just going to backspace, what was the point of hitting auto name? Fuck you, don't. I clicked the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to be the official fi official name, but... Frankie Kazarian and Hollywood Nova experienced 61. The fuck did they do? Alright, so... Oh, we got that out of the way. Okay, let's, let's sim advance. ahead and see Hopefully what Hopefully they go to the SmackDown and cause the disruption. But it's still filmed on fucking Tuesday, so we won't know until after our show what happened. Come on, did this fucking... Did our fucking disruption thing happen? There you go, we got Rick Steiner. Did our disruption thing happen yet? No, because they haven't had a show. They filmed their shows on Tuesdays. I guess... Oh, shit. We gotta get through one of our booking nights to get to it. I really want to see this. <laughs> oh, fuck. You get wrecked. You might have to wait till next episode. I know. I'm, I'm hoping they have, like, a pay-per-view. Oh, here we go. Maybe maybe, that, maybe that's what they did. Maybe they just sent them the Riptide. Here we go. Then we have Riptide disrupted. Yes. Riptide was the scene of chaos last night. Several fans disrupted the event with pro TNA chants throughout the main event and interviews. WWE officials are said to be furious and believe that TNA actually planted the fans in order to stick it to their rivals. Oh, it worked. Let's see what that says. Let's see what that says. So uh -huh. his contract is ending. Let's get him back before they want to get him. But oh no, as soon as we send him a contract. Okay, so this thing's in his final, what, 28 days? Yep. So if we do that, he'll say, yeah, being a freelancer, he wants to spend, and he, he spends a short amount of time with a company and then move on. That's what freelancers okay, do. So he's going to leave. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to leave. Which, that's why I don't sign freelancers. All right, we need to give Rick Steiner a position on the roster. That is funny at Riptide. TNA, TNA, TNA. We need to do it on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Uh, yeah he's a main eventer. There you go. Cool. He's a face to go up against Jerry. Okay. He's a badass. I can believe that. I can believe he beats Jared. He if, how over is he that compared shows. to Jared? How 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 what is his overness compared to Jared's? Okay, he's fifty eight. He's got fifty eights everywhere. Compared Relatively to close. I mean, you put him in a couple segments together, Rick might go back up. I guess um, maybe. I guess we didn't lose too much. The sponsors went right back up. <laughs> so that kind of affected yeah, us. Yeah, because for... the fans, they, they planted them there. Watch them do something worse to us. Oh, man. I guess we'll find out, huh? How long does it have to be till we do dirty tricks again? We can do it right now again. Here, let's look. Some more dirty tricks on. Not No, not them. Okay, here we go. Against the WWF. Uh, we can use our own website, take shots at them in stories. No. Openly mock. Have announcers and wrestlers take verbal shots at them during the course of shows. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> if you want to try it, if we get fucked over, I mean, we can always do a new TNA series. No, we do. You gotta keep going. You don't give up. I'm gotta... not, no, I'm saying, if you want to do it, remember, even if we lose, we can obviously just start a new TNA hey, series. Hey, man, if we go under, at least we went through the whole series. We went through the whole series of start to failure, and we had some fun. Start to failure, fun. not finish failure. We went from start to failure, and we had some fun God. taking shots at okay, WWE. Okay, what can we do? Can we sponsor us tonight? Then? No, I don't think we're big enough. I would plant say, a story. That would be too use, fucking convoluted. Use your contacts to plant a negative story about them. Oh, They would find out. Oh, come, so on, come on, come All on. All right, fine. Hey, I don't care, actually. I'm going to play the devil's advocate. If this, this fails, I'm not going to be pissed. Because why? We could just start our own. We're desperate. <laughs> well, we're desperate, not just that, but we can always just do a local to global from this, from the TNA's death to a different company rising up. Let's just hope they don't buy us out and we can get AJ Styles back. All right. Openly mock them during the show. With what's, what's a safer one? I say openly mock. That planned story one, if that does fucking succeed, oh my God, that'd make WWE look terrible. I know, so I don't know which would be good. Do you want to take the risk of. Killing TNA. Looking like idiots, openly mocking the other show. Or, or just, do you want to go for balls? So, well, do you want, in the you know in the, spirit, the story in on. the spirit of all in? 
We're going all in. We're going all in. We're all planning. in is this Saturday. We are going to plant a story. Oh, this is going to be so bad. All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh, come on. Yeah, WWF, you want to try to hurt us in the pocket? We're going to hurt you morally. Let's go. I'm scared. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, fuck. WWF is rising fast. There have been heavy rumors on of a planned spending spree by WWF who are looking to expand into new markets. Oh, that's, that has nothing to do with it. Okay. Who the fuck are these new faces coming in? I wish I would tell you. So it didn't happen yet? They're rising fast. Oh, WrestleMania happened last night. Oh, if only they Chris Jericho to- and Ric Flair were the main event. We should have done the... We should have done dirty the um, pro TNA chance at WrestleMania. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize what month we were in. Oh. Okay, let's see how bad this has gone for us. I don't see it. It hasn't happened yet. Click on the thing and tell me what it says. We finished first in regional battles. Brian Danielson offer. Finished first, 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 first. Okay, let's see what Brian Danielson's getting offered by. Zero one. That's not bad. Nigel McGinnis wants a better push. Jerry Lynn left WWA. Okay. Well, we might have to wait till next episode to see what the plant story does. Damn. If only we would have done that TNA at WrestleMania. That sucks. That would have been better. Could you imagine the whole crowd at WrestleMania? TNA. TNA. They're going to get some new faces and they're rising very quickly. Well, hopefully that story works. Remember, we went all in. Yeah, they're going to go from a rise to a fall because of a bullshit story. Look, our momentum's at 100, though. Because the crowd was chanting TNA at Riptide. It was like, what's TNA? Uh Uh-huh. All right, but we're going to have to end it for this one. Check back next episode to find out if our going all in worked or it's going to kill us in the water. If it kills us in the water, trust me, this database will continue on with a different company with that start own company button right there. If TNA fails, a new company will rise to fill its. Well, how do I explain? It's going to fulfill the uh, TNA couldn't, and that's to take out the WWF if we fail. And that's what it's going to be. If it turns into a that local to global. That was one of the quickest runs of a company of all time. If it fails, we start immediately back up with a different company. It's like, okay, you want to take out that company? Well, we're going to take what TNA couldn't do. And we're going to kill you. All right, but that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And fuck WWF. <laughs>